I'm Peggy Martin. I co-own Cedar Creek Gardens with my business partner, Bud Menke, and we are in the middle of South Dakota. We have uh, 14 acres into production and 12 combination of high tunnels and caterpillar tunnels. We grow a variety of crops. We have a lot of specialty crops, including we have pumpkins and melons, and then, you know, winter squash. We always claim we grow everything except artichokes because we don't like them. We have three farm stands. We actually put in our very first self-serve one a couple years ago, and it's going great. So that means there's no person there. You just have a money box. And then we have uh, four farmers markets a week on top of a large wholesale route that is about um, encompasses oh probably a hundred miles to the west and a hundred miles to the east. So one of the issues that we deal with yearly is weeds. We're looking for ways to integrate cover crops to build our soil because soil health is very important to us. So Dr. Lang and Dr. Burroughs reached out to us and asked if we'd be interested in a tarping project. We obtained our tarps this spring and we put them down, um, dealt with the challenges of the wind and we left them for a lot longer than we normally would be on the point that we normally plant our root crops such as our carrots and beets because that's what we did for the tarping project and there was a lot of challenges with it um, again it delayed our planting and then it got really dry so we had to do constant watering to get the carrots but what we found that when we pulled the tarps up we still had weeds and so we ended up having to till to, to, to terminate those weeds and that Again, we were like, why did we go to all the work of tarping when we still have to till and we're bringing all the weed seeds back up to the top? And so it was, it was kind of a, a defeated moment, but we still pressed on. You know, we were hoping that we could get it to work. So we, we um, the, the weeds definitely outpaced the carrots and the beets. So then we mowed and then we and we weeded some of it, but we determined that the cost of labor to weed it was going to outweigh what we would ever you know, gain in profit. So we um, made a lot of decisions along the way and really didn't find that the tarps were a benefit. Next year we're, we're hoping to incorporate making some flame weeding um, so that we can, you know, suppress some of them weeds a little bit more. There were just a lot of challenges with it. I, I can see the benefits of it in certain situations but if it's real dry like we were last year the the it got it just got too dry and the ground was too hard so we had to till after we took the tarps off to even be able to plant so there's some challenges but can i see some benefits absolutely i think in the ideal cons you know soil and um you know if there's adequate rain that you definitely would have some labor saving so we're going to tarp again next year i'm 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 hoping that you know we don't we, we get them on earlier. We did get them on a little bit later than we wanted to. I just want to say thank you too for, for investing the time and the dollars. Sometimes when you're doing a scientific field study, it's great in theory, but it's actually the farmers, the ranchers, the gardeners that are out here trying their best to, to deal with not ideal situations that a lot of time I think that you learn the most.